With this WMER 2 News update, I'm Kelly Swoop. A major step toward wiping out a virus that has killed more than one million people around the world. United Kingdom has authorized the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. It is expected to be administered starting early next week. We're still waiting for approval here in the United States. The FDA is scheduled to consider the vaccine next Thursday. We're expecting that probably as early as uh, mid-December um, that we could start seeing the first shipments coming in. Now, there are two things that I want to stress with that is the, the priority is going to be our frontline health care workers. So everyone is not going to get a vaccine or the ability to get a vaccine right away. Uh, we're only going to get a small amount. Um, and so it's going to have to go to the health care workers. And then after that, it will go into those who are in the nursing uh, homes and uh, assisted care facilities. And it's likely that it would be the staff that will be there, the first ones. Lieutenant Governor Boyd Rutherford says the other part with the vaccines is everyone needs to get it. He says that it could be spring before the general public receives it. Pfizer claims its vaccine is 95% effective. The vaccine requires two doses, several weeks apart. Well, nearly a month of more than 1,000 daily cases of COVID-19 in Maryland, 2,220 in the past 24 hours. There are now 203,355 confirmed cases here in Maryland. More than 1,500 Marylanders are in the hospital with the virus. Five have been released in the past 24 hours. 42 more people have died, and we have lost so far 4,558 people to the pandemic here in Maryland. The seven-day positivity rate has inched up to 7.52%. And unfortunately, we are looking at another chilly start to your work day here. Temperatures in the low 30s as you head out to work in the mid 30s by mid morning with clear skies, needing the sunglasses for the day, partly cloudy for the afternoon as temperatures will climb into the low 50s. But that's as warm as we get 53 degrees. The afternoon high here in the harbor 51 in Elton. 52 down in Stevensville. Seven day forecast shows that that's about as good as it gets this week as temperatures will be cooling as we head towards Saturday. We're also looking at rain chances for your Friday through early Saturday. Getting a bit breezy and chilly for your Sunday with chilly numbers through the beginning of next week. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com all day for your updates on top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather while you're on the go, make sure you download the WMER2 News app in your app store. You can take a look at our live radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.